Hey guys, it's Colsey Perrin, and today uh, I'm going to uh, give you guys a quick review and comparison of three of the e most, I guess, available uh, screen recording applications for non-jailbroken devices. And I'm going to just give you guys, I'm going to compare them and I'm going to tell you which one I think is better. Um, as well as just kind of give you guys a quick review of each one. So starting off with the first one, these are in order of which I think are best. Starting off with this, this one's X-Rec. Now, as you can see, very pretty, simple interface. Nice colors, it's very soft, simple. You have a record button here and a stop button on the right. You have your videos tab right here at the bottom, as you can see I'm recording right now. Um, and your settings tab is readily available right here in the middle of the video, where you can toggle recording audio, your sample rate, if you want mono or stereo sound, your video size, which gives you a 75, 50, and 100 percent option, as well as your orientation. I do home button to write when I make my Minecraft. Video. So overall, I give this a a 10. Well, you know, I give this a 9 out of 10 rating. Um, one of the problems with it is is that it is very buggy right now. It is in the 1.0 and it crashes sometimes, but I really can't criticize it too much for that because there's no way to update it now that Apple has taken it out of the store. But next, we have record screen. And the reason that this is the one I used to use I, I used at the beginning. This was my my choice before I heard about XREC. But record screen is a great application. It has an easy it has one single record button. You simply tap that and it'll begin to record. Tap it to stop. Um, recordings are right here. But one problem I had with it too was that it's also the settings aren't readily accessible within the app. You have to actually scroll over to your settings and go down to the bottom where the record screen settings were located. And there were less there are less settings, as you can see. There's no sample rate setting. There's no mono or stereo setting. The video size only has native and half. It was just a bit less intuitive, I guess. I guess you could say a bit less um, convenient. And um, the fact that it, because uh, it, it's a web application and Apple took down the website, every time you restart your device, you have to set your date back before to 2012 and reinstall it. As well, and it crashes sometimes when code when encoding the video. So I give that one about a six or seven out of ten. Following this, la in last place we have Disc Recorder. Now this was released a little while ago. Now this app, it's got a nice look and feel. Uh, I like how you can go to your recordings and upload them directly to YouTube. In here you have a lot of settings. You can choose your audio codec along with your sample rate, as well as how many channels. Uh, you can choose how they are sorted within the app. You can choose the video orientation of auto, so it'll rotate with you, which I really liked. There's two different screen capture methods. Direct access is a bit faster. Your video quality, high, medium, low, the video size, full or half. Um, there's a couple little things also on the file settings. Uh, you can have it trim, you can have it cut off when you begin the video, so it only shows you in the app and stuff. Uh, max duration of your videos, your rec record type, you can do audio only, that's an interesting option I chose, and stuff. But, my main problem with this app was that it is extremely slow. It is very laggy, and it does not do a very good job, it does not do a very good job of recording your screen. It's, it's very slow and it does not record Minecraft well at all. So that's why I put it at the back. So there's, and I give that one maybe a 4 out of 10. Yeah. So there you go, guys. XREC, I believe, is the best. Followed by Record Screen and Disc Recorder. But, you know, that that's your choice to decide. Um, I think I may include, uh, if you guys really want to know how I got um, XREC and Disc Recorder, then I might make a video to show you, or I'll just put the link to how I got them, or how I learned. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to uh, check out my channel for more videos.
and tutorials and things. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed this, and tell me how this helped you, or if you have any other suggestions or questions, just go ahead and comment them. I'll see you guys later, and keep crafting.